guys welcome back to another spectre video and today we will be doing tips and tricks uh, um, on uh, how stuff work and um, uh, what you should do in the game uh, so first of all we're going to go over uh, the ghost room or the favorite room is what we like to call it call it um, so you could use an emf reader or a thermometer an emf reader shows the different levels show um, different things like emf2 shows uh, the favorite room which is what we're trying to search for uh, emf3 is when the ghost throws something or has any paranormal activity emf4 is when it's uh, in the same room as you or just past you and emf5 is a piece of evidence for us and we could also use the thermometer which is um, when it's um, 10 or below but not that like below uh, zero uh, it means it's not freezing if it's below zero then it's freezing and we don't even need both of these. If if there's black smoke in the room, it means um, that the, uh, it's freezing temperatures anyway because it's uh, a sign of breathing. So we're gonna go inside now and show you guys. Hopefully there's black smoke so you can describe it. But if there isn't, I'll, I'll pop up a picture on how it, uh, what it looks like. Okay, right. Oh, my reason is my freedom. So my friend Yohari, oh look, alright. And my friend Yohari, he normally goes up for the black smoke and then I um, get the EMF reader. So it's EMF2, so this means this is the ghost room. This is where I, I, you'll find all the evidence and so on. Alright, um, no smoke, yeah, very sad. Well, I'll pop a picture now um, of the smoke, and there's the ghost right there. So you get EMF2, no, no, no. Alright, okay. So we'll see you guys in the next piece of evidence. Okay, so the next next piece of evidence I'll be discussing, I'll be just, uh, discussing two of them. Uh, the ghost goggles and the fingerprints evidence. So, ghost goggles, you can find like these um, uh, uh, orbs, they're like really light purple. Um, don't mistake it for the flashlight though, because uh, sometimes you can mistake it. Um, but they're like these um, uh, orb things, they're, like, really, they're really bright. Oh, there's ghosts in the so. And um, I'll discuss the fingerprints in a second because it's it just not going to show the fingerprints. Yeah, so with the fingerprints, um, there's a 100% chance of a spawn of fingerprints or not. So if you're knocking, if there's no fingerprints, it means it's not a fingerprints ghost. Hopefully, just kill me now. <laughs> I'm going to high. Oh! Okay, well, it uh, decided it wanted to kill me, so. Uh, that wasn't very nice for them, but um, anyway. Um, so hopefully you can see the fingerprints now. It's, yeah, I know, I know, I can tell. Revenant is very fast, Ghost, and that's probably why it killed me. Right, see the fingerprints for you? So if it knocks, it means um, uh, it's either fingerprints or no fingerprints. If it's, if it's no fingerprints, then it's not fingerprints, Ghost. And then ghost goggles, uh, as I said, you'll find like this uh, um, uh, uh, orb then that um, it, sh it shines quite bright, uh, and that's when you'll know that it is a um, uh, ghost with orbs. As you can see here, just in case you guys want to see the description of it, allows you to see go uh, ghost orbs that float around rooms, ghost orbs are used for evidence. So if we go into ghost reports, there you go, orbs right there. So with orbs, there's possibility of being gin, shade, uray, meh, poltergeist, and that's it. And with fingerprints, we got only four ghosts, I think, at the moment. Revenant, Banshee, Spirit, and poltergeist. Because um, I'm pretty sure Wraith and Phantom are fingerprints, but they haven't been activated yet. Or is it just one of them? I can't remember. But yeah, so and there should be an update coming up today on town, and me and Harry will probably record that uh, uh, later in the week. Hopefully, get an upload up soon. And uh, we have been, we have uh, got a schedule now for our uploads. We will be uploading on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So make sure to come check us out on those days, and uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Yeah, well, see you on the next one.
Okay, so this is the last of the evidence, and we're going to be discussing the crucifix, the spirit box, and the um, uh, book. So let me take all these. Let me take all these. So I'm sure I'm high. Can you uh, take a flashlight to shine on me? Thanks. We're also going to try and do the EMF um, thing. Um, the EMF th the trick is when uh, uh, you use the EMF reader when it's a spirit box ghosts and um, you put turn it on, spam the questions and there's a chance you can give you EMF by so we're going to try and get a clip of us in doing that. So we want to try and get all of these though, Jim, which is a 1 in, I think it's a 1 in tw no, 10, 1 in 10. Harry, I can't see. Oh, oh. Or Are you carrying the um, EMF? You are. We're just gonna pour it for you. Put in the chat. Oh, is there any? There's the problem. <laughs> I don't have the. Uh, and just in case you guys didn't know when you hear this music it means there is um the ghost is hunting you and in insanity mode um the uh, uh, the ghost can ha attack at any time and with the different other um modes uh, they have t um peace timer which I'll discuss about in a while, in a bit later. Oh! Black smoke! There's smoke here. Wait for it to stop attacking though. Sure. Okay, look. Um, should I try shining the light somewhere? smoke and that means uh, freezing temperatures right I'll wait is it black is it black smoke I can't even tell it is freezing right yeah okay all right I'm gonna drop the spirit box here so I'm gonna go get a flashlight so it's not as um dark in here and I can show you guys more clear Should I use crucifix now to show everybody how it works? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I only use the crucifix if, if it's in like a um if it, you're in a decision where you may die as a fast ghost. I only wanted to use it there so then I could uh, show it to you guys. But we will use it. I'll discuss some in a second, all three, but I just need to go get a flashlight so I can see more and better. So, the crucifix is, um, 
it's like this uh, cross that um, if you place it down when you're near the ghost, it stops the ghost from hunting once, uh, and you can only use it once and in, in, in a time. So if you use the crucifix, so all the mask would disappear and the ghost would disappear too. But it they won't stop stop the attack the entire way. They'll just stop once. fingerprints and freeze temperatures it means it's a uh, banshee because it's the only ghost it could possibly be. Um, <clears throat> we're not going to leave just yet though because I don't actually display how it works. Because we, we won't be able to get a uh, reply from the spirit box because um, all right then but I'll, I'll throw some pictures of uh, what it actually does look like. Um, so basically put the book down and then if it, if the ghost is a, a ghost that can right, it'll like it'll be a lot of like um, lines on the book. Uh, you 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 probably uh, understand it. Um, and then spirit box. So you turn it on. You can put it on the floor. You can hold it out. Uh, make sure it's on. Or you can hear like the um, signal then, and um, uh, it's it's light blue. Um, so then you ask it questions like how old are you? Are you here? Where are you? Show us a sign. And there's a lot of other questions you can ask it that uh, that work. Um, you can ask it like um, can you um, can you write in this book or um, can you turn the lights? That will show fingerprints or um, writing. And then the crucifix. So since we know the ghost, can we as we use the crucifix? Then we can show them. Right. Okay. Let's go find the ghost then, and we'll use the. Let's get the dye though. Ghost. Yeah. Oh, we're in a different map now. We're in fa um, luxury home, I believe. Oh, there's, there's the ghost. Ready? So we're gonna put it down right here. And look, it stops the ghost hunter and disappears from my inventory. So that's all the uh, uh, equipment done. And next we'll be, we will be discussing. Um, probably be talking about like. Um, uh, the ghosts and how they um, uh, attack and so on and what they're like so um, we'll see you then okay so this is one of the final parts of um, uh, stuff you need to know about inspector where you're going to go over each ghost their weakness and strength and some of the ghosts don't have weakness and strength because uh, some of them are useless um, and uh, you have a huge advantage in some of them in packing. So I'm just get my normal stuff and we're going to go in. So I'll play as I'm saying. Um, so the first ghost we're going to go over is um, uh, probably the most useless ghost. Um, it is a uh, spirit. Although spirits have been quite harsh to me, Harry, because. Um, they normally don't write in the book until we actually move the book. So, um, so a spirit uh, has no real traits, and it's the middle ground of, of uh, the other ghosts. It's like, it's if, if I had like a tier list, I would definitely put it at the bottom because it's just pathetic in a way. Um, and the next ghost we're going to be talking about is a gin. A gin interacts with electronics much more than other ghosts. If you notice a sudden drop of sanity, that means uh, a djinn has used their power. So that's quite a key thing to know, if you think it's a djinn. Um, check your sanity when it's using its power. And um, with a djinn, when the food box is on, it um, it can access its power, which is uh, speed. Uh, but if you turn it off, it'll be a bit slower, I think. I'm pretty sure. So you wanna, if you if you uh, have a, like, a little um, sense of it being djinn, 
try and keep the spirit uh, the booze box off because it will help you so much. Um, oh, it's freezing temperatures. There you go. Um, okay, so the next ghost we're we'll talking about is the mayor. So similar to gym, but it's opposite in a way. The the mayor hates the um, light. It it will uh, keep the lights off as much as it can. So it will probably turn off the booze box a lot because it just doesn't like the light. And it's stronger well, um, uh, in the dark, so while it's talking, if it's like pitch black, it'll be stronger. Um, um, and it says you. Yeah, they try to turn off as many as lights as possible, especially in the ghost room. If you notice uh, a sudden drop uh, in activity when you turn on the lights in the ghost room, it's likely a myth. So if you if you keep every single light on and you don't uh, uh, see anything or like smashing or whatever, then it's most likely a man. Oh, it's probably a spirit box. Um, uh, the next ghost is a U ray. A U ray uh, drains more sanity than most of the ghosts. Um, in fact, it drains it the fastest. It, it drains uh, twice the san uh, the rate of the. Um, it, it it drains twice more sanity than the rate of the other ghosts. Um, um, what else can you uh, if you notice a sanity drop um, faster uh, when you're hunting, it might be a UA. So if you can like um, notice your sanity drop really, really fast, then it, there's a chance it can be UA. But of course, if there's no freezing temperatures, then it's probably not a UA and it's just dropping fast anyway. Um, so the next one, this one has not been activated yet. Oh, it looks like it's answered. Uh, this one, this ghost has not been activated yet. It's uh, the Phantom, um, and as we look at it, it, it seems like a deadly ghost. There is the ghost right there. Um, yes, the Phantom is quite a deadly ghost, um, uh, as what we can see. I wouldn't really necessarily say it's dead, the deadliest, but it looks quite um, scary in a way. Uh, let me just wait for this ghost to end. <laughs> I'm starting to think this may be a. Um, Demon, because demons do attack, attack a lot, and I will explain more about that in a minute. Um, so we have to phantoms. So phantoms are very much like you race. Uh, they will drain uh, times two the sanities when you look at them, and uh, not much is different um, uh, apart from the evidence. So the evidence is similar. So um, phantom and you race are similar, but it. You um you drain times two sanity when you look at it, not when um uh, it's attacking. Um, so it's it's similar to Yuri, and they both have the same um um they're in the same category with freezing temperatures. Um, so next one we're going to talk about is Oni. Oni Oni is more active uh, the more people around it. If you not another uh notice a sudden drop in activity when you um investigate alone. It may be an Oni, so it's quite it, Oni's quite strong, in my opinion, because every time we hire a came across an Oni, it appears up a lot. It likes to troll with us. It likes to knock in a lot, and it um, attacks quite a lot too. Oh, this ghost likes to attack too. Is something going? Orbs. Oh, okay, so it's in there. Hmm. Oh, I see upstairs. Hi, it's upstairs. Um, the next one I'll be talking about is Shade. Harry's probably doing the- Oh god, it's spawned right there! Harry's probably doing most of uh, the evidence because I'm just trying to um, speak to you guys and let you guys know about the different stuff. There it is, it's coming after me and doesn't like me. Harry's being- You need Chris Fix. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, this is probably- In Charlotte, this is probably the best room to be because you're right next to the door and you can probably get out. But they have changed- they, In a recent update, they have changed the door so they, they close as soon as the ghost attacks, which is not very good for us, but makes the game more scarier and more fun to play anyway because it's more interesting um so next shades um shades are the opposite of all needs um paranormal activity is rare to uh, um rare to a shade uh, if you were together um 
If you notice a uh, significant activity when you split that up, it may be shade. So shades are quite shy in a way, and uh, if you don't do any paranormal activity at all, it, it could be a shade. And um, if it's attacking when you are alone, uh, it, it, there's a chance it could be, uh, because it's it's quite shy. It it's I say it's uh, low, it's down by spirit in a way. Uh, if I would uh, if I was to uh, do a tier list. Um, on the shade, but it used to be quite powerful. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I know. It used to be quite powerful, um, but now it's just it's more powerful if you're solo in the game, which is something I barely have to. Um, so the next one we're going to be talking about is probably one of the deadliest ghosts in my opinion. I um so the next ghost is a demon. Demons hunt faster than other ghosts, and um on perfect uh so. It may attack whenever you, you step in the building. If it, if you notice frequent hunts at high sanity, um, it may be a demon. However, uh, don't mistake uh, this for a group with an um, only or alone with a shit. So, what I mean by that is um, uh, that a uh, demon is one to attack a lot. Even if you're at high sanity, it could attack immediately. If I'm pretty sure it has the most chance of attacking and uh, I've witnessed it before because I've gone inside and it's been a demon and it just attacked me through it and Harry didn't have time to come in. So yeah, it's quite a um, deadly ghost for people who just started the game. But we can get used to it because we've been playing the game for a while and yeah. Um, our next one, this is another one that hasn't been activated yet and we're hoping to see that activated in the future update. Um, so the next one is Wraith. Uh, I think the race is quite powerful because um, the race doesn't really touch the ground, um, uh, so it's and it, it can also go through um, walls, as you can see. Well, it's going to take a show up in the description now, but it can go through walls, so it's unpredictable where it can come from. It can do you and so on, and it's got. I'm pretty sure it's got fingerprints. I can't remember. Because they have said uh, redacted on Wraith, look. So I forgot most of the evidence for it. Um, uh, so next one is quite a um, deadly ghost, which is Banshee. A Banshee only targets one player at a time. But um, me and Harry have been noticing that it, it attacks, it, it does change targets. I think that may be a glitch or something. But... Um, it's meant to attack one player at a time. And um, uh, if you notice one player is being targeted with nobody else, it has a high chance of it being Banshee. And Banshees cannot kill other people uh, no matter how close they are. So if it comes up close to you and it's like attacking your friend or whatever, um, it probably won't kill you, it'll probably just stay with them. But if it does change to you and there is a Banshee, then it's probably a glitch because we have uh, came across that before. Um, so we're getting on to uh, our last two goals now. Uh, so poltergeist moves, uh, we're going to go over poltergeist now. Uh, a poltergeist moves objects uh, more than other ghosts. If you notice more objects being thrown at, around the uh, room, it's most likely to be a poltergeist. Um, so yeah, if you can use smashing, slamming doors like a lot, like too much, um, there's a chance it could be a poltergeist, but then it could also be different ghosts, of course. So don't just uh, immediately think, oh, okay, it's poltergeist now. Because uh, it, of course, can be a different ghost. Um, so the last one is probably, in my opinion, what it's it's between Jin and Revenant, but uh, which is what we're going to go. But um, there is one of the deadliest ghosts. Uh, Revenant is uh, most uh, moves. Uh, uh, it moves fast um, when hunting if it can see its prey um, or if it's far away, and. Um, uh, and they can, they tend to switch targets a lot. And I've noticed that revenants are just, they they could be uh, stronger than Jin. They could be because like, even though it says when it's far far away, far away, it it attacks like, um, whenever it attacks, it's so fast, and that's when you know it's a, it's a revenant. Um, so let's just get the description up there.
Uh, there you go. Revenants are violent ghosts. They speed up at the target's food the way you see. Uh, so they are quite violent too. Um, so I'm just, just gonna slide through uh, these ghosts. You can pause the video whenever you like. Um, just in case you wanna go over one ghost. So I'll just, I'll go slowly. We'll go through every single ghost here. So if you wanna pause the video and learn more about them, then it's up to you. So yeah. I think we've gone in depth with each one. I'm um, sorry about the Phantom Wraith, they, they just haven't been showing up, so. <laughs> uh, there you go, it's Poltergeist, it's Reverend, Sheed, Banshee, that's also one that's been um, thrown into, into the bin at the moment. <laughs> um, and of course, there's the, the current one, just in case you uh, want to check it out yourself. And let's go over this. So ghost report. Um, so ghost report. You can file in your evidence you found, and then you can check which one it could be, and so on. Uh, so um, we're gonna move on to I think one of the last ones now. I think we're gonna discuss the actual tricks um, on how to find find out the ghost. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so this is probably the last part of it, um, and in this one we're going to be explaining about EMF, which you probably may be wondering, what is EMF? Um, so, we're going to be talking about the evidence in particular, EMF 5. Um, EMF 5 is the hardest evidence to get in the game, hands down. Um, EMF is one of those things that are just... It just, just too hard. But we found a glitch about the EMF. We, well, we don't think it's a glitch. It may be something by the producers. But um, anyway, we're gonna go for it. Um, so if you have the EMF uh, uh, five um, scanner, then the um, EMF reader, uh, go into the ghost favorite room. And if it's um, spirit box, there's a chance it could be Jin or Oni, and they're the only two ghosts this glitch will work with. So you want to put out the EMF reader, you want to um, uh, spam it with questions um, um, until, until it will go like EMF 3 I'm pretty sure at the start without it like smashing anything and just keep on trying and eventually it should go EMF 5 unless, uh, I'm not sure if it's 50-50 or if it's 100, we're not sure what the chances are or anything but um, unless it's like um, a ghost like Shade or Evans it's 50 50 oh, okay. So, how do how you find out about this, by the way? So, shout out to Harry. Uh, yeah, so it's 50 50 chance. So, if it doesn't work, it doesn't mean that's not the ghost. Um, it just means it doesn't. Just, um, just a chance, so yeah. And, um, yeah, it's something else I need to discuss. Uh, some of you may not know. But, um, uh, in uh, Phasmophobia, they have this, like, shoulder light. Am I right to say that? It's a uh, Phasm Phobia is like the original game. But um, yeah, they have the shoulder light, where you put the light on the shoulder. But um, uh, in this game, there's like this like glitched version. But um, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be in. But like, um, where if you, um, uh, for, for example, you pull out ghost dobs or something, um, if you click T on your keyboard, it's light up. If you, uh, that's only, that only works. If you're if you've got the um, light in your inventory, the flashlight in your inventory, which is kind of helpful if you're trying to find EMF or whatever. So I think that's about it. I'm pretty sure. Is there anything else we need to go over, Harry? You want to go over? Anything else we should talk about? Nope. Okay, so it looks like this is gonna be it. We're gonna add in some tips for us finding EMF five, um, fingerprints, and so on. Um, so then, well, we're going to try to think of this. We're going to sh show some clips of us getting EMF 5, and I'll include photos for the ones that we didn't find during um, speaking about the evidence. So, um, so thank you. If I don't um, add in anything else in the end, uh, thank you for watching the video. Um, please make sure to uh, subscribe and like the video. Oh, bobs. <laughs> uh, please, yeah, oh. like, but, um, please make sure to like and subscribe um, because I'm, I've now know when I'm going to upload. Um, on those days and just it would help me out massively if you guys just 
put two seconds um, of time into just uh, clicking that red button and making it grey. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's it. So um, uh, I will add in clips uh, um, through the um, video of us finding EMF five um, or finding different evidence of what they was like. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.